Um, I wanted to welcome everybody. I'm going to do an abbreviated version of the agenda. So speakers, um, please cut your time. And once this is over, we will um, go upstairs. You'll see the building. And we're, you'll be invited for some appetizers. And we will continue to have our speakers upstairs. So it is with great honor and pleasure. And I'm very humbled to stand here in front of all of you guys to say that we're here. Aquí estamos y no nos vamos. There's so many people to thank, and I don't have enough time to thank everyone, but I wanted to start off by thanking Mayor Breed for her support of MLVS through all of our, our ordeal. The Board of Supervisors who are here today, Supervisor Walton, Safai, Supervisor Ronan, Assemblyman David Chu, all have been instrumental in the support of MLVS. The Save the Building Coalition, the partners of the consortium, Meta, Jamestown, and MNC. I wanted to thank Sam Ruiz for doing the last minute negotiations when I gave up. Thank the Laborers 261, the legacy of Rosario Anaya. This is the Mission City Hall. You are welcome here. Always, this is a place for organizing, and this is a place that forever we will carry that legacy of advocating for the Latino and San Francisco community citywide. With that said, thank you for joining us today. I wanted to bring up our mayor to give us a few words. Thank you, Mayor Bree. Thank you, Tracy. First of all, there's nothing like having a place in your community to call home. When I grew up in the Western Edition, the African American Art and Culture Complex, and Ellie Hill Hutch Community Center, those were the places that were safe where we had an opportunity to be a part of some amazing programs. And MLVS has been that community space for over 40 years right here in the mission. Started with the help of my mother's union, Local 261, and the laborers and the work that they have done to open the doors of opportunities for people who need a place to go to feel safe, to feel secure, to develop the skills, to learn the language, to do so many amazing things, but most important, to have a community. This place represents so much, not only to this community, but to this city. And so it wasn't even a question as to whether or not we needed to make sure that we provided the necessary money to help secure this facility. It wasn't even a question with any member of the Board of Supervisors. It wasn't even a question with the officials who work for the city. It was really about what the community wanted and deserved to have in this neighborhood. I want to start by thanking Assemblymember David Chu, who you all know came together with the folks from Meta, Mission Neighborhood Center, and Jamestown. And through that, those discussions early on developed this consortium, which stayed consistent and persistent in its pursuit, Sam, to get the job done led by this incredible lady here, Tracy Brown, and the work that she did was absolutely amazing. And so to all of the folks in the community, you made this happen. You came together. You put aside any differences, any issues with the sole purpose of ensuring that this facility is here now and for generations to come, Roberto. For generations to come. So I am so honored to have played a very small role in supporting these efforts. I'm looking forward to seeing the culinary program grow. I'm looking forward to the tutoring and a lot of the other things that you have done and will continue to do for so many people who need the programs that operate right here. 
So thank you for this great opportunity. But before I walk off, because Tracy told me to keep my comments to a minimum, I, I just want to really um, recognize the work of Tracy Brown, especially, and Myrna Melgar, who, first of all, two phenomenal women who are relentless in their pursuit to take care of their community. And I just want to present a small token of appreciation for the work that you all did to make this possible. Uh, in bureaucratic years, I always say that this actually happened fast once we got going, um, faster than most things happen in San Francisco because we understood the importance. And these two ladies were instrumental in making sure it got done. So on behalf of the city and county of San Francisco, thank you for your work, your tireless commitment to the community, and everything that you have done and will continue to do to be such a blessing on so many lives in our city. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, Mayor Breed. Thank you for coming. I also wanted to just shout out the chef who prepared things upstairs. Um, the staff of OEWD, you are amazing. Thank you for believing in MLVS. And also to our legal team, uh, Victor Marquez is here and Peter Van Zelt and the staff of our legal team. So thank you again. And now I wanted to bring up Assemblyman David Chu. Good afternoon. Are we ready to celebrate? Yeah. All right. This is a very special day. And uh, thank you for being part of the community that made it a special day. You know, we are on hallowed ground. It was in this spot 51 years ago that Latino immigrant workers came together and said, we need a place to call home. I know we have a lot of laborers from Local 261 who are here. This is also a space where we are under a guardian angel, and her name is Rosario. We can feel her. I know I think her niece is with us today, uh, but because of her and because of all of us who are here, part of that spirit, we carry on. It was a couple years ago, a few community leaders came to me and said, we want, to be part, we want you to be part of a movement to save MLVS. Well, Tracy Brown, you and all of you saved MLVS. And, and there are so many folks who I know have already been recognized. I want to thank the mayor of the mission, Roberto, for recognizing so many of these folks. Let me just take a moment and recognize one other person who I think was a bit of an unsung hero, Tony Fazio. I remember you were calling me night after night after night, <laughs> along with Mike Menasini, the board, so many of you who are part of this. And, you know, angels often come in three, as the Charlie's Angel movie tells us. <laughs> there were three organizational angels that came together, you know, with their leaders. Jamestown, led by Myrna. Melgar, thank you. Sam Ruiz, led by, uh, MNC, led by Sam Ruiz, thank you so much. And I know we have Luis here, also from Meta. You guys came together in a way that, frankly, when I was asked to help conduct the first mediation, I never thought was going to be possible. For those of you who were there, we were like, how are we going to put together a couple million dollars to do this? Um, but it took a village. It took not just community leadership and nonprofit leadership, but it took a mayor and an OEWD department that says, yes, we are going to put our money where our values are. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Breed. It also takes the private sector. I know we have representatives from B of A. Thank you so much for a $4.5 million loan to be part of this. Uh, but let me just say and conclude with three brief observations. It takes a village. It does take all of us working together. This is how it gets done. But the th second thing I want to say is at a time when our Latino community, our immigrant communities are under assault from a so-called occupant in the White House and from economic forces that are looking to push us out. 
we have to stand up. We have to come together in coalitions with families to say, we're not going away. We are here to stay, and no one is kicking us out. But, you know, the final thing I want to say is what is so important, I think, for all of us here is we know this is a building, this is an institution where tens of thousands of immigrant families and workers are kids and kids are going to walk through. And because of the work we're doing here, we are going to be raising not just the next mayor of the mission, but the next supervisor of District 9, the next assembly member representing Eastern San Francisco, and someday, long after Mayor Breed, is done, we will elect a mayor of San Francisco, likely from a community that was nurtured by MLVS. That is why this is so important. That is why I've been honored to be a part of it. And what I want to just say is long live MLVS. Viva MLVS. Thank you to the MLVS board. I know some of you guys are just arriving. I wanted to also shout out my family for putting up with me uh, <laughs> during that, this year. Um, and now I wanted to uh, bring up Supervisor Hillary Ronan, who has supported our capacity building for the last few years. And without her, really, we could not have survived this ordeal. So thank you, Supervisor Ronan. Oh my gosh, this feels so good, doesn't it? <laughs> um, this is truly nothing short of a, a miracle. Um, aside from the money uh, that Assemblymember Chu was talking about, for those of us who were lawyers and took a look at the tangled legal mess that this building was in, I didn't know how we were going to get out of it. I honestly did. I, you know, I had just come into office when this whole thing exploded. And Bob and, and, and some of the MLVS board came to me and said, we've asked David Chu to help us try to figure this out. And I said, please do. <laughs> Keep talking to him because I have no idea how to fix, us, fix this, this mess. Um, but what happened is we got together, or, or I think, I should say, some of the strongest and, uh, m and, and fiercest and sometimes the most difficult personalities in the mission. <laughs> Myrna Magar, Tracy Brown, Sam Ruiz, Luis Granados, and they even brought in Victor Marquez, <laughs> got together and stuck it out together to unravel this nightmare that had happened. And if it wasn't for their tenacity, their willingness to stick it out when times got tough, because man, did times get tough a number of times, um, without the support of Mayor Breed, who didn't hesitate for a second and said, I'm here for you, I'm with you, I've got you, uh, this just really wouldn't have happened. It's, it, it's, it's part miracle and part a testament to the strong leadership that this community has and their tenacity and unwillingness to give up until there is justice for their community. Congratulations. I couldn't be more proud of you all. And uh, Victor wanted me to correct the record and say it was the Bank of San Francisco, not the Bank of America. <laughs> And I, too, have um, the uh, certificates for the two organizations that are currently occupying this beautiful historical building, MLVS, which I'm going to give to Tracy, even though she probably wants to say it's someone else's responsibility now, <laughs> and to Mirna for Jamestown Community Center. Okay, let's try to move quick here. Um, I wanted to introduce um, the Jamestown Community Center Executive Director, Mirna Melgar. She is here representing the 701 Alabama Consortium, um, which we shared uh, is MEDA, MNC, and Jamestown. I also just wanted to shout out Dr. Garcia and Valerie Tulier, who served as my sounding board, um, along with Roberto at one in the morning when I was sometimes losing it. So um, I wanted to bring up Mirna. Thank you. 
thank you all for uh, being here with us to celebrate this historic occasion. I feel so honored to be part of this club. It's amazing. Um, so I want to recognize, firstly, our Mayor London Breed. So many folks don't know, but um, it was her brainchild that we, uh, that Jamestown get involved in this, um, that this collaboration of agencies could save this building uh, with the city's support. Not only was it her idea that Jamestown move here and get involved in this, but she also put the city's money behind it. <sighs> Making sure we saved this important community asset. Thank you, Mayor, for your vision. And also for your commitment to keeping our community in place and our cultural and nonprofit institutions strong. So I also want to recognize the individuals to, who put the sweat and heart to make this happen. First to my compañera, Tracy Brown. Her persistence, her tenacity, her leadership and commitment to the community has led not only to the success of MLVS, it's on a different foot now because of you, um, but also to the success of this collaboration, which is the 701 Alabama Consortium. Tracy, I have always admired your vision of one mission and of Latino unity and collaboration. These are the fruits of your labor. So thank you, Mama. So then to my compañero, Santiago Ruiz. <laughs> it's your intelligence, your connections, your keen strategic mind, and your long-term planning that has led us to uh, the anchoring of the Mission Neighborhood Centers as one of our most important community institutions in the mission. And today, we uh, celebrate your legacy, your contribution to the reclamation of this space, but also to your support of others, uh, especially me and Tracy. Thank you, Sam, for doing that. Thank you, De Corazón, for your step steadfast support of others in the community. Also, thanks to Sebastian Alioto at MNC for all of his work uh, to, that he put in this deal. And for being here for MLVS, you know, when they needed you. And last and certainly not least, I want to express my vast, vast appreciation for Luis Granados. And also to Caroline Feng. So Luis has led the Mission Economic Development Agency through a transformation from a small business development support nonprofit to a national leader in the work for the civil and economic rights of Latinos. MEDA has been at the forefront of unapologetically holding ground for our community, for our culture, for our people, for the community that we created. So thank you, Luis, for your vision and for your support and your incredible leadership. Gracias. And also to Caroline Feng, whose hard work, wisdom, and serious diplomatic and technical skills have enabled not just this acquisition, but also the development of the community real estate department at MEDA, saving the homes of thousands of Latinos in this city and stabilizing nonprofit space here in the mission, which we definitely need. So uh, now to the crew, I wanna thank uh, Saul Etlin, Kelly Ehrenfeld, Karen Sullivan at Community Vision. Thank you for all of the time, energy, and support, both in technical assistance opportunities and investment you provided to this collaborative, and also through your stewardship uh, with a nonprofit investment fund. You make magic happen, so thank you. Um, and also to uh, Stephanie Kippel and Nalashi Almendral for shepherding Jamestown in the consortium through all the technical issues. And last but not least, to Joaquin Torres, to the incomparable Josh Arce, <laughs> and Lex Leifheit for all your support and assistance. To Alfredo Vergara Lobo for facilitating our conversations, and to Victor Marquez and Patrick Valentino for your support, advice, and also for pushing us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and last also to the Bank of San Francisco for stepping up, for providing the financing that we needed to support this effort. Thank you for being truly a San Francisco bank and for the access and personal attention you provided. 
Also, thank you to Kaiser Permanente for uh, providing the funding to complete this familia of consortium agencies uh, to allow MLVS to be part of this consortium. And we are so grateful for the support. And I will leave you with this from my people. El pueblo unido jamás será vencido. Thank you. So I am going to cut my closing remarks. I just wanted to shout out our building people, Roadmap to Peace, BACR, Five Keys, and all the people who have invested in us. Let's get to the ribbon cutting. I have someone from MLVS, a student holding one side, and someone from Jamestown holding the other side. And this is a non-traditional ribbon cutting because in the mission, we can't just do one person, can we? So we are going to all come together to do this. So uh, thank you again to all the mission. I'm going to call up the consortium members. I'm going to call up the mission leadership, the Save the Building Committee, and anybody else who feels invested, the MLVS board, please come up. We will be cutting this ribbon all together. Supervisors, please join us. Commissioner Collins, Board of Education, thank you for joining us today. Come on up. Okay, bye.